Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Walter Lorenzetti. I'm a family member and the CEO of GSTW, an Italy company. And uh, in this presentation, I will talk uh, about the GSTW framework, uh, our framework, our application. Uh, GTW Suite is an application dedicated uh, to the publication and management of a QGIS project uh, as uh, WebGI services. Uh, about the history of GTW Suite, uh, we can see that uh, the idea, idea behind the project is based on the needs of our customers who needed an easy to use tool for publishing and management uh, WebGI services in a structured way. But of, above all there was the request to develop dedicated models that could be managed in terms of access and use in a profilated way. So the targets were using QGIS project as a basi, uh, basis for defining the context of uh, WebGI services, organizing the WebGI services in uh, hierarchically organized containers, being able to define the policies for access and the management of individual services, and finally, the possibility to activate specific modules for, uh, for example, editing function and uh, individual service level. The results of, uh, of, of work uh, is an application uh, open, is, uh, available in uh, open source mode with Mozilla public licenses available on uh, GitHub repositories. Uh, GitHub Suite is a, a modular application client server uh, made by two components. GTW admin, the administration component at the backend, and GTW client, the cartographic client for consultation maps. Uh, uh, is, is, it is a modular application, so there are uh, other um, optional models, uh, among which uh, you can find a front-end ge geographical portal, that is a simple and classic geographical portal for searching and uh, accessing to uh, WebGI services. In this slide, you can see the uh, technological stack of the application. Uh, at the base, you can find a uh, Postgres PostGIS DB that is used as store for uh, uh, administration data of the GitLab Suite structure and for geographical data. But clearly, using QGIS server, uh, you can use data uh, of any type, for example, shapefile, specialite, uh, uh, geopackage that uh, QGIS server can read and uh, use normally. Um, at the schedule level, you can find the GTW admin that is the core models of the suite and it is developed with Django and Python. Uh, it allows the, the management of the user, the project, and uh, it's, uh, it, it works as an API REST server for communication with the client. And thanks to its int integration with uh, uh, QG server by uh, Python QGIS API, it works as, uh, also as uh, OWS services. And finally, on the top, you can find a, a GTW client, the uh, WebGIS client, uh, built with JavaScript, obviously, <laughs> with uh, OpenLayer 5 at the moment uh, on uh, reactive technology by UJS. This is, a, I want to show you uh, a standard, very, the, the, the default workflow and use of uh, GTW Suite. A GIST user makes his project on his QGIS desktop with his geodata. After that, he uploaded a QGIS project on GTW admin interfaces, where he can set the access control list for user and the GIOP user, and make other settings and activate other widgets, for example, search items and others, on the layer of his project. GTW admin stores this information inside the data, database DB and other meta information. Yeah? And uh, on Bootstrap, GTW client, first of all, uh, ask to uh, GTW, uh, GTW admin by REST app interface uh, general aspect of the project for the Bootstrap extension, number of layers, uh, structure of the token, etc. After that, uh, at runtime, GTW admin works as a uh, uh, OGC service server and API REST server service for, for the client. In fact, okay. 
In fact, on a plot and store of uh, metadata information about uh, the QGIS project and the layer, GTW Mint get many features from the project. In example, uh, as I, I said before, uh, uh, WMS, WFS, etc. information about the layer, um, coordinate reference system, uh, the, the talk structure, uh, information about the, the, the form, if you uh, have activated the form and view inside the project, etc. In particular, you can, show, you can look at the uh, several list of the um, future and the characteristics that are generated from QGS project. In particular, embedded layer, for example, layer derived from uh, other uh, project, views and teams, uh, one to n and n to m uh, layers relationship, uh, standard print and uh, atlas layout, and uh, uh, other, uh, other particular characteristics is uh, uh, interactive chart uh, um, by data plot uh, QGIS desktop plugin. Now, I'll show you more in detail uh, the features of main components of the application. GTW Min is, uh, as I said before, is a graphic interface for create uh, web GI services. So this component, the system administrator, is uh, completely independent uh, in, the in the publication of management uh, of all aspects uh, of uh, WebGI services. In fact, uh, in the admin panel uh, is uh, all of you obviously uh, create cartographic uh, uh, groups and macro groups that are the boxes inside that you can find your WebGI services. Create user and uh, user groups uh, and assign them a role with different uh, powers, administration, editors, viewer, etc. Uh, you can um, use uh, uh, the um, encrypted DB authentication system uh, um, given by the uh, QGIS server based on uh, uh, Python QGIS API. For example, for layer that uh, require date, uh, for example, POGIS, uh, OGC services, uh, and other server. And you can activate, and the, 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 the administrator can activate specific function models and assign them to individual WebGIS services or individual users. Once a, a QGIS project is published for uh, each layer, it's possible to create widget search tools, for example, activate a activate cache system powered by uh, time map services for each, for each uh, layer. Uh, all downloading of a vector and raster, uh, raster data in various formats, for example, GeoTIFF, uh, shapefile, uh, CSV, etc. Filters uh, on attributes layer for user and user group. Specify constraints of, of various kinds, for example, user or group of user based on uh, geographical constraint and or QGIS expression constraints. And you can enable or disable uh, in online editing capabilities for the layers, for the vector layer. Clearly, the results of all these settings are visible uh, and they act on WebGIS client. In fact, WebGIS client, uh, GW client, was a modular, uh, as a modular approach and it allowed to have an interface that adapts to management of the currently available models. For example, print, search, editing, etc. In, always in a user profilated way. In fact, on GW on client is possible too. Clearly, browse the map. <laughs> because sometimes you have many widgets, but uh, you, if you don't browse the map, it's not possible. <laughs> Use different types of interrogation, query by point, uh, query by box, uh, query by uh, polygon. Change WebGIS services maintaining extension scale with, so you can mm, switch between, service, within, between uh, WebGIS, uh, WebGIS services. Use search tool created in GTW admin interface. Um, look at uh, uh, attribute data through a structured form as you uh, define it inside your QGIS project. Uh, consult links and display image preview and look at 
relation one to one, one to one relation data in the other, other uh, future. In fact, you can print maps that you define by layout inside your project, display single metadata derived also by general capabilities from the project, and if you have uh, data, plot, uh, data plot plugin, you can uh, dynamic chart based, you can show at the dynamic chart based on active filter and on map content created in your QGIS data plot plugin. Uh, thanks to uh, Django and uh, how Django uh, it works, um, it, it's possible to make uh, other models because it's modular, uh, GTW suite. So uh, we have developed um, private and uh, uh, free and uh, open uh, models for our customer. For example, uh, for to read the time series, for example, net CDF data, or for uh, uh, VMST, uh, WMST um, data, etc. Um, we can, thanks to integration with uh, uh, with, with QGIS by uh, Python, uh, QGIS API, we can use the QGIS processes, uh, uh, processing integration. Um, there is a model for other type of authentication, for example, with uh, LDAP. Uh, and uh, we have developed other models for specific for our customer, for example, for uh, models for Italian uh, public administration. A very strange future of GTW Suite is the editing online model. Hmm? In fact, it allows to make editing on vector layer online and to create a cartographic management application on QGIS and migrate it to them to the uh, web environment, to the web GIS. Um, in the, inside the editing online, naturally, it's possible to edit point, line, polygon in a, a, every uh, type of uh, geometry, so also for multiform, so multipoint, multipolygon, multiline, etc. Thanks to, uh, 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 to uh, Python integration with Python QGIS, uh, you can have a granular management of uh, editing power base or for singular user uh, or for group of user. So user can, uh, some user can only edit, can only update or can only delete, but it's very strange, but it's possible. And uh, um, uh, it's possible to enable intralayer and interlayer, so uh, snap between, uh, uh, between uh, layer. And uh, it's possible to use to, in, in a view mode and editing mode, use a geographical constraint based on other layer or based on a QGI expression hmm? that are differentiable according to individual user group of user that are settings before, that are set before uh, in uh, GTW admin. As you can see, the, the, the permission uh, on the layer can be defined at the level of the single layer inside the single web GI services. Uh, uh, the, the editing model uh, supports multi-user editing through a future lock system applied on the future visible in the canvas when the editing starts. So when a user start, start an editing on a particular uh, zone or particular extension of the map, other user can't uh, do ed editing until this user release the editing state, okay? Um, for attribute data in, uh, in an editing model, it's possible to use attribute form structure defined in, QG, in QGIS project, use editing widget associated with uh, single fields, and edit the attribute data connected to main layer in editing by one-to-one -one or one-to-n relation, like uh, uh, as it works in uh, uh, QGIS desktop 2. Where uh, GTW Suite at the moment is used, uh, is used by public administration, university and uh, research institutes, utility companies, 
parks, uh, private companies, etc. etc. What, what, what are the uh, application fields? They are various cartographic portal, sure, <laughs> biodiversity map, nautical data management, post air quarter image census, uh, landslide catalog management, etc. Well, now we are at uh, version 3.4, okay, we are, uh, uh, and uh, uh, this uh, 22, 2022 October release the new 3.5 version, where the main, uh, re the main future releases are management of, of single symbolic category display, not only at layer level, but also for the classes inside the layer. Implementation of uh, future admin and client and future, in particular, uh, more par uh, parameters uh, for in the URL for um, switching between map views, um, one to one, one to n relation based on the multiple fields uh, because of now it's possible only with the relation with my one uh, field relation. Improve. Uh, abstract project information on the backend and uh, improve human readable exception on the error on the interfaces. On editing function, we are working and we release a copy and paste future between layers and in particular HTML, HTML multi-line input form widget. On April 2023, we release we hope to release the 4.0 version, where there will be um, an upgrade of uh, technological stack. We pass uh, from Python 3.8 to Python 3.10 support, Django migration to 3.2 LTS version, and uh, migration of open layer from 5 to 6, and uh, we uh, update many libraries that uh, frameworks uh, are using, for example, for example, admin LTA, views, uh, et cetera, and move the uh, default uh, operating system to Ubuntu uh, 2204. Thank you. Thank you for following my presentation. Thank you for this. Morning.